It comes as no surprise that I have plenty more commercials that portray men as clumsy, stupid, inferior, useless, lazy slops. You'd think this would get old by now, but nope. This kind of crap continues to be a form of comedy and entertainment. If you want to stay warm, you need Forever Lazy, the one-piece, lie-around, lounge-around, full-body lazy wear that covers you from head to toe in soft, warm fleece. Just slip it in, zip it, and get lazy. Now you're toasty warm from head to toe, and your hands and feet stay free, so you can talk on the phone, enjoy a good book, do homework, or just do nothing at all. So the Forever Lazy keeps your hands free, so you can continue to do other things. But notice how all the females were the ones actually doing something, though. Talking on the phone, reading, doing homework. Meanwhile, it was the man who was doing nothing at all. Yeah, that useless bum. Forever Lazy comes in four stylish colors in sizes to fit everyone in the family. So you can all watch the big game together while Dad does what he does best. And as you would expect, what does Dad do best? Or any man for that matter? Sleeping. Yeah, just like Papa Bear. Whether you're raiding the fridge during a commercial break or cramming for a college exam, Forever Lazy keeps you comfy cozy. And it's a man who raids the fridge. And while she's studying for her exam and doing something productive, he's playing video games. So yes, everybody in this commercial is getting comfortable and taking it easy. But that's the whole point of the product. It's what they're trying to advertise. But all the women are being comfortable while doing something productive, whereas the men are comfortable being the lazy bums that they are. All right. <gasps> it is so you. Feet up, game on. Face deep in a Baconator. Yeah, sold. Living large, my friend. So she envisions this man as the usual male stereotype. His feet up on the couch, watching TV, and stuffing his face with fast food. And of course, what's he going to watch on TV? The game. Yeah, it's always sports. What a shock. Yeah, scarfing down greasy fast food while being lazy on the recliner and watching TV, that's apparently what men need to be happy. Eureka! Guys, I figured it out. The law of pizzaplicity. Go on. You can get two DiGiorno pizzas for the price of one delivery. I think you just doubled my IQ. You're welcome. Does that make you like a pizza magician? Does it? Can I call you Professor Pizza? Yes, you can. Yeah, because if it's one thing men really know about, it's greasy pizza. They don't know the first thing about healthy food, though. But when it comes to junk food, they are the go-to source. And speaking of pizza, take a look at this commercial. So this man finds an old slice of pizza in his bed. He looks like he's about to throw it away, but nope. He just picks off a mushroom slice and throws that away instead. Then he puts some salad cream on it and takes a big sloppy bite. Imagine if that had been a woman instead of a man. I certainly can't. Apparently, only men are disgusting and would do something like that. This is how single men are portrayed. Without a woman in his life, a man is liable to do disgusting things like this. I'm sure if he had a girlfriend or a wife, he wouldn't be so gross. Like in this next commercial for Nestle Pure Life Bottled Water. One day, it will hit you. By replacing one sugared beverage a day with a bottle of Nestle Pure Life Water, you can cut 50,000 calories a year from his diet. Choose the crisp, clean taste of America's number one bottled water. So this man and his son go to sit on the couch, put their feet up on the table, and watch TV while drinking soda. While the woman is most likely taking care of some important paperwork and doing something useful. Of course it was the woman who had the smart idea to replace their sodas with water. This man would have never have thought about doing that himself. Thank goodness the woman was there to do the right thing. She knows what's best for them. They probably wouldn't have had anything even remotely healthy in the fridge if she wasn't around. And notice how the woman speaking says, you can cut 50,000 calories a year from his diet. Yeah, like this man can't look out for himself. The woman is the only one who knows what's best for him. 
I'm tired of husbands being portrayed as if they were another child that the woman has to look out for. It would be a nice change to have a commercial where we see the caring father replacing his wife and daughter's sodas with some bottled water. So yes, for the most part, men are portrayed as slobs who find every opportunity to be lazy while stuffing their faces with greasy fast food and soda. But even the healthier looking men who actually go to the gym make fools of themselves and are portrayed as morons. Like in this commercial for Planet Fitness. Hey, you like abs? Peep these. I know. Hey, did somebody lose a washboard? Because I found one over here. <laughs> I'm just joking. It's my abs. So this man makes a fool of himself and gets kicked out of the gym by a female employee. Imagine a commercial where a woman is making an idiot out of herself in front of a man, and she gets kicked out of the gym by a man. And at the end of the commercial it says, not her planet, yours. While they say, dum 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 dum. A commercial like that would be unacceptable. Hey, is the table finished? Yeah, you bet you, honey. Oh, you think so? Mm -hmm. Some mornings, you just can't eat at the table. Oh no, of course he couldn't fix the table. Men can't do anything correctly. From fixing tables and other household objects to doing the laundry, men are always shown to be messing everything up. And check out the look on her face. She's like, yeah, see you screwed it up. I knew you would, typical man. This one is from Verizon. What? Hey, what's up with this website blocking thing? Hold on a second. Yeah, it's part of the DSL package. Dad, that's censorship. Yeah, that, that's censorship. All right, Mr. Sixth Amendment rights, but we have young children in this house, right? I don't need them or you surfing these sites with the questionable uh, content. Dad, the Sixth Amendment is the right to a speedy trial. So not only does the dad make an idiot out of himself by naming the wrong amendment, but who corrects him? I'll give you a hint. It's not his son. You guessed it, his daughter corrected him. This is another commercial where a man is portrayed as being dumber than the intellectually superior woman. Why was this even necessary? Was it really that important to have the father look like an idiot and get something wrong? Do you really have to portray men like fools in order to advertise your product? I've yet to see a commercial where the woman gets something wrong and her son corrects her and then there's this awkward silence afterwards. Oh, and I'm not finished with Verizon either. Rest assured, I will be ripping Verizon a new one at some point in the future. This next commercial is for Oscar Mayer. You know, we're a little early for this thing. You want to hop in the back and get weird? No. As usual, it's the man suggesting they get weird in the back seat, and she says no right away. Like we haven't seen that before. Want to fool around? No. Okay. Just once at least, I'd love to see a woman ask the man if he wants to get weird in the back seat, and he just flat out says no. If a company ever advertised with a commercial like that, they would have me as their most loyal customer. Family vacation? Vegas. No. I don't think that Las Vegas is the kind of place you take a family. And he suggests a stupid idea for a family vacation, and both females say no. Interesting to note that he raised the arm of the only other male in the room. Now even though the boy didn't put up his hand voluntarily, he didn't actually say no either. Only the females did. Give it a big yank! Really? Yeah! No! And of course the careless father almost endangers his 8 year old son by giving him a chainsaw as if it was a toy. Good thing the mother, the only one with any sense, was there to stop it. She again says no while wagging her finger. No. And of course, being a man, he wants to shop for a TV. That's the main thing men do, right? Is watch television. I'm sure he wants to watch some sports program on that while stuffing his face with a Baconator. We can have hot dogs for dinner? Yes. So he asks if it's okay to have hot dogs, and this time she says yes because they're Oscar Mayer, so that makes them okay. But what makes her the authority on what they can or can't have for dinner? If he wants a hot dog, he should be able to go and make himself one. It's like he needs her permission with everything. In a world filled with no, it's nice to finally say yes. New Oscar so then what does he do? The selfish man just takes the plate away and plans on eating the entire plate himself. Yeah, what a pig. Like I said before, if a company made a commercial exactly like this, word for word, 
but switch the genders, I'd be their most loyal customer because they would be the first company I know of who ever did such a thing. Well, Oscar Mayer does have another commercial like this, but instead of the woman saying no, this time the man is. But he isn't saying no to the woman because she wants to get it on with him, or is getting his permission for something, or is doing something stupid and irresponsible. Nope, the man still comes off looking like an idiot in this commercial. Take a look. Is it done? No. Of course he ruins the treehouse. I suppose he got some tips from this guy. Were you just... No. Of course he was checking her out. So this man is being portrayed not only as a liar, but a pervert as well by wanting to get weird in the back seat and checking out other women as well. You supposed to be driving that in here? No! So he knows he's not supposed to do that, but he does it anyway. Once again, portraying him as being stupid and irresponsible. Yo, Teresa here? No. The overprotective father. So is it okay if I stay out just a little bit longer? So, okay, so no. Can't hang out with your friends without getting your wife's permission first. Did mom say we could eat all that? Yes. In a world filled with no, it's nice to finally say yes. Did mom say we can eat that? Because it's only what she says that goes. Everything in this household, from what they buy to what they eat, has to be mother approved. The father has no say in anything. If you've watched my entire Misandry in the Media series so far, you will notice that there have been a lot of commercials where a woman is coming home and opens the door only to find that her husband is doing something stupid. Well, here's yet another commercial to add to that list. Wonder Guy Man. Wonder Boy Man is... Twing, twing, twing. Twing, twing. Ching. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Go, Mom and Dad. And you've got my labor invisible pads. Yeah. I'd love to see a gender reversal here, not because I think women should be portrayed as idiots or anything, it's just that I've seen men play the fool so much that a gender reversal would be a refreshing change of pace. Besides, if it's all just a joke and not meant to be taken seriously as several people tell me, then there should be no problem doing such a gender role reversal. But I still have yet to see it. Portraying men as idiots is supposed to be funny, but portraying women that way is misogyny. Even when the man walks through the door to find his wife sitting on the couch, the man is still the one who is portrayed as an idiot. Yeah, that's right. Don't bother to get up and help him out with the groceries or anything. Just give him that look like he's a dumbass and continue reading your magazine. This next commercial is for Toys R Us. The Toys R Us big toy book is coming. Let's go. Hurry up. And everyone wants to get their hands on it. Toys. The hottest toys and great deals are in this year's Big Toy Book. Find it in stores now or select papers this Sunday and get a free $10 gift card with purchase. Because the only thing better than seeing joy on a child's face is knowing you put it there. This is fine, right? But a gender reversal would be sexist. I couldn't imagine this commercial where two girls get stuck in a door and a boy triumphantly comes out of another room saying, Maybe next year, girls. Then waving at them while closing a door with the sign that says, Boys rule, girls drool. For some reason, in today's day and age, it's only possible for men to be sexist jerks. That's right, any sexist remark about a woman is wrong, but a sexist remark about a man is supposed to be funny. And should you talk about how it's sexist to men, then you are told to lighten up. I want to talk about one last commercial. This one is from Allstate. Remember when you said men are superior drivers? Yeah. Yeah. Then how'd I get this? Allstate safe driving bonus check. That? So weird, right? My agent Tom said only Allstate sends you a bonus check for every six months you're accident free. But I'm a woman. Maybe it's a misprint. Does it look like a misprint? Okay, let's try. Silence. I took issue with this commercial, and as usual, there are people who don't see where I'm coming from with this. They think I'm overreacting, or if anything, it's misogyny, or it's just a fictional commercial about one man and one woman. Let me first address this comment. I said this before and I'll say it again. It's not the individual commercials that I take issue with, it's the collective trend of commercials that are like this, as well as the lack of gender reversals that I really have a problem with. 
This commercial is just one of many more like this. For example, in Misandry in the Media Part 13, I talked about a similar commercial. Oh! You almost hit me! Introducing the highly maneuverable Mercury Mary. This man also made a sexist comment implying that women are inferior drivers. Now this leads me to the next comments that say, There's no sexism against men here. If anything, it's sexist against women because of the remark that men are better drivers than women. Now how on earth can I possibly say this is misandry? Very easily. For one thing, it's certainly not their remarks that I'm saying is sexist against men, but rather how these men are being portrayed. These men are portrayed as sexist jerks. Notice how when the men made these remarks, one of them got kicked out of the car and was left stuck in the rain, and the other was brought down a few notches like, yeah, in your face, you sexist asshole. Clearly, it was shown to be a bad thing to say men are superior to women at something, and it's good that these sexist assholes got what was coming to them. Now how about a commercial where a woman says something sexist about a man, then he kicks her out of the car and into the rain, or proves her wrong and turns her down a few notches? I've yet to see a commercial like that. You know why? Because as I've demonstrated time and time again, sexism against men isn't considered to be sexism at all, but rather a form of comedy and entertainment. Not only that, but the media likes to portray men as the only ones who can be sexists and women are the only ones who ever experience sexism. Just the fact that misogyny is defined as a word in spell check, but misandry is not, is really telling. So yes, to say that men are superior to women at just one thing is terrible. How dare you say men are better than women at something? Yet, you can say that women are superior to men at everything, and it's perfectly fine. In these commercials, those guys only said that men were superior to women just at driving, nothing else but they are still considered jerks for saying such a thing. And yet we have commercials like this one. Sprooks, superior shoes for the superior sex. So here they say women are the superior sex, not at anything specific, just in general. And why wasn't this woman kicked out or turned down a few notches for saying something sexist? So to sum up, Saying men are superior to women at one thing is considered to be sexist, and the man is considered to be a misogynist for saying that. But saying women are superior to men at everything, that's not considered sexist at all. That's perfectly fine, and the woman is portrayed as being empowered for saying such a thing. That is why I take issue with those commercials. I hope that cleared it up for you.